In this last lecture, we're going to uh, add two fractions with sums on the bottom. And whenever you have this kind of situation, you should see if you can factor uh, these denominators. And that's what I've done here. I've taken this and, and factored the second denominator into a minus 3 times a plus b. This is a difference of squares, isn't it? And now I look for the first step is to look for the lowest common denominator. And I see that I treat the sum a, a minus 3 is one variable and a plus 3 is another variable. I see that the coefficient in front of both of these is 1. So it would be 1 times a minus 3 times a plus 3. And the highest power they occur is 1. So there's our lowest common denominator. Next I do the setup. And uh, I do exactly uh, what I did before. I take the 5, that which is up here, and put it in front. Take the negative 2, bring it here, and I draw a long line here. And this leaves me three blank spaces here, here, and here. And in those three blank spaces, I put this lowest common denominator. And that gives me this expression. Now, these fractions will reduce quite a bit to make these denominators 1. This will divide evenly into here, and this will divide evenly into here. And of course, when I divide this, I'll end up with 5 times a plus 3. And here, this just changes into 1, so it's 1 times negative 2. The only step uh, left is really to simplify what I've got. I'll distribute this and combine like terms. And when I do that, I get an expression that looks like this. And uh, I guess the 15 and negative 2 will uh, reduce to 13. So 5a plus 13 over a minus 3 times a plus 3. I can leave the answer like this or change the a plus 3 uh, times a minus 3 to a squared minus 9.